There are a lot of differences between the way people who are rich think and the way middle class people think. And if you want to become rich, you should learn what those differences are. That's the subject of an awesome book that I just finished reading called How Rich People Think by Stephen Siebold. And in this video, I'm going to tell you all about that book. I'm going to tell you some of the points that I found the most compelling, and I'm going to give you some of my thoughts on each of those points. So stay tuned. Now this book is about the differences between the way the world class, that is the rich, think and the way that the middle class think. And this isn't about right or wrong, right? This isn't about factually accurate versus inaccurate. It's all about the way that our mental maps of the world work. You know, everybody navigates the world around them using a mental map. And the map is not exactly the territory. The map is a low resolution representation of the territory. And so you can have a lot of different perspectives that can be factually accurate while being completely different. So, for example, if you believe that the world is all about pain and suffering and hardship, uh, or maybe you believe that the world is all laughter and joy and love, well, both of those are factually accurate, right? Because there is pain and hardship and suffering in the world, and there is also love and laughter and joy in the world. So both of them are factually accurate, but the way that you live your life, depending on which one of those perspectives you choose to take, or at least which one you choose to take more often, will determine the way that you act in your life and the way that life acts towards you in return. The book is divided into 100 short chapters, each of which goes over one way that the world class differs in their thinking from the middle class, and each one gives a description of that difference and it gives you uh, what he calls a rich resource which is a, a book or a program that he recommends for you to learn more it gives you a critical thinking step which is a chance for you to reflect on yourself on your own thinking to see where you fit on that on that spectrum if your if your thinking is more middle class or more world class and then it also gives you an action step something that you can do right now today to start implementing and start thinking more like a rich person rather than a middle class person here are a few of my favorites the middle class believes that money is complicated the rich believe that money is simple you know if you hang out with middle class people you recognize this they think that the best way to make more money is to get the highest most advanced degree and the most complicated difficult field possible right you have to get a PhD in astrophysics to make a lot of money. That's the middle class mentality. Well, the rich people don't think that way at all. To them, making money is simply a, a matter of adding value. And the more value that you add to somebody else, the more money you make. So the better the solution that you provide, the more money you get paid. The middle class worries about money. The world class dreams about money. You can tell when you have conversations with middle class or rich people that to middle class people, uh, money is something negative. It's something to be avoided. It's something that causes problems in their life. And because they're focused on the problems, then the problems come. Whereas the, the rich dream about money. They think, they're thinking about money in terms of how can I make more? How can money help me in my life? And because they're thinking positive, the positive things come to them. The middle class believes that the road to riches is paved with formal education. Whereas the world class believes that the road to riches is paved with specific knowledge. You know, if you followed my channel at all, you know I talk about this a lot. I talk about how formal education does not give you the specific knowledge that you need to make money. Formal education is middle class people teaching other middle class people how to be middle class like them, right? In order to be able to provide real value, the sort of value that will make you rich, you've got to find the specific skills necessary to deliver that value. Check out this video to learn five of those specific skills that you can start teaching yourself today. The middle class sees money as a finite resource. The world class sees money as an infinite resource. This is something I've talked about before as well, that money is an infinite resource, that the amount of money or the amount of wealth rather that exists in the world today is so much greater than the amount that existed in, in earlier times in history and it keeps expanding and expanding. You know, it's something that's a little bit difficult for people to get their heads around because it seems like that in order to make money, you need to take it from somebody else, but it doesn't work that way at all. Money is infinite. Money can be created. That is the, the headspace that rich people live in and that middle class people just fail to understand. The middle class believes that rich people are smarter. The world class believes that rich people are just more savvy. You know, this is something I've talked about before as well, that 
to the middle class, everything is about intelligence, that the most intelligent person wins, but it doesn't really work like that in, the re in real life. And rich people recognize that. You know, the most intelligent people are engineers, are doctors, are rocket scientists, are brain surgeons, you know, something like that. And those people are, you know, they make decent incomes, but they're all middle class professions. The, the highest earning people in the world usually are not the most intelligent, they're just the most savvy. The middle class believes in working for money. The world class believes in working for fulfillment. This one is huge because the middle class believes they trade their time for money, that they give up something, uh, they give up their time and they get some money in return. Well, the world class doesn't see it that way. The world class believes that they have a mission. They have a reason, something big that they were put on this earth to do. This is something I've talked about a lot. And if you believe that you're here for a purpose and you're looking for that purpose and you're on that purpose, purpose, your work is going to be so much better, so much more impactful and provide so much value to the world, which means that you are going to get paid more. If you're enjoying this video, please go ahead and hit the thumbs up icon, hit the subscribe button and hit the little bell icon beside the subscribe button, which means that you'll be the first to get all the awesome new content that I'm putting out in the near future. And if you think that this would be helpful for somebody else that you know, please share it, share it with them directly or share it on your social media. Share it with anybody who you think would be blessed by this video. The middle class plays it safe, whereas the world class believes in taking calculated risks. You know, I experienced this so strongly when I quit my job, you know. I had a, a pretty well-paying job. I was making more than most of my friends, and everybody thought I was completely nuts for quitting my job because I wanted something better. I wanted to follow my purpose. Middle class people will drag you down if they see you doing something that they perceive as irresponsible because they only see the downside. They're all, they act out of fear fear out of lack. They see, oh, something could go wrong, and that's where their head is at. They don't focus on the upside. They don't look at what could go right. They're only focused on playing it safe, looking at what could go wrong. The middle class denies the importance of money, whereas the world class recognizes it as a critical component of life. How many times have you heard middle class people say, I don't care about money, I'm not that materialistic, money isn't that important to me, right? I mean, they downplay the importance of money because they have this mentality of lack. They don't believe that they can ever get it. Obviously, money is important, right? Think of all the things that you can do with money. I mean, apart from just your own personal goals, how many people could you help if you had more money? How many causes could you support if you had more money? How much good, how much impact could you make in the world if you had more money? The middle class, at some level, knows that money is extremely important, but they rationalize it away by saying that, oh, they're not materialistic, they're not greedy, etc. They feel better about themselves. They try to make themselves feel superior by denying the importance of money, even though it's right there in front of their face. The middle class believes that money is about status. The world class believes that money is about freedom. You know, I talked about that a lot in this video, all about how you can buy your time with your money. You can you can earn money and buy your freedom with it. That is what the rich recognize that the middle class do not. You know, the middle class will waste a whole bunch of their money on stupid status symbols, on jewelry, on cars, that, you know, on, on houses that they can barely afford the payments, whereas the rich will, will live below their means and will save up that money so they can buy their freedom, so that they can stop spending their time doing things that they don't want to be doing. The middle class thinks small, the world class thinks big. Again, this is totally obvious if you spend any time at all with middle class people. They're always obsessing about how to go get the next degree that will maybe get them a 10% raise or how they can negotiate a 5% raise with their boss at work. Like they think so small time or maybe they can move to a different city and get a tiny raise, get a tiny, a little bit better job, etc. While the rich are thinking about these giant projects that will make them millions and impact the world. The difference is enormous. The middle class believes that it's shrewd to be cynical the world class believes it's shrewd to be optimistic. You hear people who are presented with an opportunity and they just reject it out of hand without listening to it at all because they just believe that nothing really good in the world could possibly happen. So they reject it as too good to be true. Part of the reason that the middle class people seem to be forever stuck in mediocrity is that anything that can make their lives better, they just reject out of hand. They just refuse to believe it. And so as a result, not surprisingly, they're 
life never gets better. The middle class wants to be comfortable, whereas the world class is comfortable being uncomfortable. This is an enormous difference. You know, middle class people, they just want to work at their comfortable desk job in an air conditioned building, sitting all day, destroying their health, as I describe in this video here. And whereas the, the rich people are trying to find something better. They are trying to push themselves. They are pushing themselves into uncomfortable situations, situations outside of what they're normally used to because they know that that's where the big money is. That's where the big value is. The middle class believes that rich people are snobs, whereas the world class believes that rich people are guarding their consciousness. This one was a big revelation for me, but it's so true. You become the people that you hang around. And if you hang around people who are complaining, who are negative, all the time, the way that middle class people usually are, then you become like them. The rich people recognize that they need to guard their consciousness. They need to, to be careful about what comes into their heads because if negativity is coming into their heads, then negativity is going to manifest itself in their life. So they hang out with other rich people because other rich people are positive. Other rich people are supportive. I've had the experience a lot lately of middle class people, even, even well-meaning middle class class people will just try to drag me down because I'm trying to do something more with my life and they try to drag me down. So you have to be able to avoid people who are going to drag you down, who are going to put negative energy into you. And that's what the rich people recognize and the middle class just don't understand at all. The middle class believes that having a job gives them security, whereas the world class recognizes that there is no such thing. I mean, if you need proof of that, look at the 2008 financial collapse where people losing their jobs were jumping from buildings, committing suicide, right? There is no security in having a job. You can get fired at any moment. The business can fail at any moment. The best security you could possibly hope to have is to have high income skills that can pay across a broad spectrum of different applications. That way, you don't have to worry about losing your job or losing a client because you can always find a new one because you have the skills to make money in the future. The middle class believes it's wrong for a small group of people to own most of the money, whereas the world class invites the masses to join them. This goes along with what I was saying earlier about how the rich recognize that money is an infinite resource. The fact that, that only a small percentage of people are rich well, it doesn't have to be that way. Everybody could be rich. I mean, everybody is rich, if you think about it, considering from now to 200 years ago, everybody is fantastically rich compared to 200 years ago, and everybody continues getting richer. But the more that the normal poor people, middle class people, start adopting the mentality of the rich, the more people are going to be rich. The rich recognize this. They recognize that they're not privileged. They just have a skill set that anybody else in the world could develop if they were to actually learn to do it. The middle class doesn't believe in self-development or self-help, whereas the world class recognizes these as the key to getting rich. You know, middle class people have this idea that if you are trying to help yourself, if you're trying to develop yourself, if you're trying to improve your psychology, it means that something's wrong. It means that you're defective. It means that you're deficient, that you're below average, that you need the remedial course, right? Well, the rich don't operate that way at all. They see is no matter how good you are, there's always room for improvement and that's what self-help and self-development is all about. So the middle class people totally reject that because they don't want to look weak. But the world class, they put their pride aside and realize that there's always room for improvement and that the more they improve, the better their lives will become. My camera battery died so I got to record the rest of this on my cell phone. Anyway, that's just a small selection of the 100 different differences between the middle class and the world class. You know, I came across this book. My girlfriend showed me this book because I was, I had written with my mentor, Myron Golden, we had written the 11 biggest mistakes that middle class people make that keep them from becoming rich. And so she showed me this book, which was a lot of the same material. You know, it's interesting that we, I, I had never heard of this book before we wrote the uh, 11 biggest mistakes. And a lot of the things that he noticed are the same things that we notice. So clearly there's a trend that's happening here. This is the first book review I've ever done on my YouTube channel. So I want to hear from you guys. Do you like this? Was this enjoyable for you? Do you want me to do more book reviews in the future? Because uh, I read a lot of books and I'm happy to do more book reviews if you find that interesting. So comment below. Tell me if you like this and if you want me to do more of it in the future.
One of the big differences I talked about between the middle class and the world class is that the middle class believes that money buys status, whereas the world class believes that money buys freedom. Now, if you are interested in buying your freedom and becoming world class, check out this video right here, a video all about how you can use your money to buy your freedom. So if you're interested in being free and in being successful, check out that video now.